Hey there everybody, welcome back to Campus Automotive. I'm Matt McMurray and today we got something exciting to talk about. We're diving deep into the world of off-road performance with the new BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA K03. If you're looking to take your four-wheel drive truck, pickup, or the SUV to the next level, this might be just your ticket. Now the K03 is designed to replace the K02. However, they haven't officially released this tire to the public yet. This tire is really only available for two OEM vehicles right now, the GMC and Sierra HD trucks, and also the upcoming Ford Ranger Raptor. So these are gonna be OE on those two fitments. Now, I suspect that they'll launch this probably in the fourth quarter of 2023 to the general public with all or most of the sizes. But right now there's only two or three sizes available. As a matter of fact, as of this video, there's not even a section on BF Goodrich's website discussing this tire or any of the, the features or benefits. So looking at the KO3, the first thing you notice is the tread pattern itself looks really, really similar to the KO2. But you can look at the tread pattern and see that it's very similar to the KO2, but it has some updates on it that make it a little bit better. Very aggressively designed, looks a lot like the KO2, but improves on what the KO2 already does. But the shapes are slightly different now, and the orientation of the tread blocks are slightly different. Now each tread block has full depth sipes in it, which is pretty cool, chamfered edges. There's so many biting edges in this K03, it's kind of crazy. I would say when they were developing the Ranger Raptor, they'll probably use it for Bronco Raptor too, but while they were developing the Ranger Raptor, they needed a tire that would be durable on high speed, off-road trail type situations like Baja 1000, and stuff like that. There's lots going on here with the durability, lots going on with the biting edges, Got has sipes, three peak snowflake rated. There's plenty of room in between the tread blocks to clear out that mud. So this is probably gonna be the quietest all-terrain tire that BF Goodrich has ever made. And I would say also the longest lasting, cause I'm looking at the way this is all, this tread is all oriented and shaped here. I'm thinking that it's, it's designed to be a long lasting tire. There's never a point on the tire rolling path where a block isn't touching in a similar place as another block. So there's always a block on the ground at all times. So I think this is gonna make it a lot quieter, but it's also gonna give you that traction that you need because it's always kind of a balancing act between biting edges, voids in between tread patterns, quietness, and also longevity. The more distance you have between tread blocks, the louder the tire is going to be, but also it's not going to last as long. So with new compound technologies like they have now, added to the fact that there's sipes, biting edges and everything, in snow, this is going to be an outstanding performing tire. It's really unique because it looks very similar, but at the same time, if you had a KO2 sitting right beside it, you would see that would be very different. But one of the things I really like is how they've shaped these tread patterns to have this kind of zigzag going in a line. So there's zigzag patterns going in a line, and you can only capture that at certain angles, but I really like the way it looks. It's just a different kind of it reminds me of like the Toronto Raptors old jersey that had the, the Raptor scrapes on the front of it. That's what it kind of reminds me of, you know, kind of going diagonally across the tire. Another thing that you need to realize is these tires, these sidewall lugs on these tires are much bigger than the KO2. They're also kind of scalloped. So one high, one low, one high, one low. So when you air this tire down off road, it's going to get outstanding grip in the sand and in the deep mud and in the deep snow also. But each in between these outer tread blocks, we still have stone injectors here. So to throw those rocks out of there and it won't puncture the tire. Also, being that these tread blocks are so big, when you're driving off road, you'll be less likely to pinch and cut the tire because these kind of deflect anything that might hit the side. The way this, these outer lugs are designed almost reminds me of the KM, how thick they are, whereas the KO2 has smaller side biter tread blocks going down the side where this is these are a lot bigger. So almost like almost like the KM mud terrain from a sidewall perspective, but a KO2 kind of from the tread per perspective. So that's kind of what makes it unique. And they carry all the way down, almost halfway down the sidewall of the tire. And I'm sure on different size tires, this distance will be uh, longer and shorter depending on what the application is. Somewhere embedded in this tire 
is an RFID sensor, but I don't know what it's for because there's no literature yet. So, so we can talk about that. All right, so coming over to the sidewall, of course we've talked about these side biter blocks already extensively and how they're connected and kind of scalloped. So this is much more aggressive than the KO2. But you got a little KO3 symbol right here. You got these little ribs here. I'm sure to dissipate heat or sound. There's, there's definitely a reason that they're there. If we look, there's on this particular size, there's no rim guard, but on other sides, I bet you there'll be a rim guard. This is for a HD truck, but on other sizes, they'll probably bring that rim guard back. Now, this tire is three peak snowflake rated. We also see that it's made in the USA, and it's also a road range E tire, which means it's 10 ply. Now, here's something really, really interesting that I just noticed. Right here, there's a little symbol and it says RFID. So somewhere embedded in this tire is a RFID sensor to do something. I don't know what it's for. We don't know yet because we don't have enough information on this tire, but there's something in here to measure something. So it'll be interesting to see when this tire finally comes out, why this has a RFID in it. So this tire is black letter on both sides, but I would say some of the sides will have raised white letters, just like the KO2 had. So here we have a KO2 and you can see the difference in the way these side biters look on this tire. Now this is, this is the older style KO2 raised white letter. But I've had these on this truck for a long time and they've done really good for me. I'm a big believer in a BF Goodrich KO2. So I should be a big believer in the KO3 too. So I'm excited to see what that's all about. But you can see the difference in the way the sidewall looks on this tire. 